Hello Cancer and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Astro Tarot reading for the full moon in Virgo, which is Saturday, February 27th, 2021 at 317 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. The energy in Virgo with the full moon is letting us know that we are good enough it is about our health and well-being, looking at how we're taking care of ourselves. Because if we are not taking care of ourselves, it makes it more difficult to be there for others who rely on us. So when we have a full moon, it is when the sun is opposing the moon. So the sun is in Pisces, which is trining you, Cancer, because you're a water sign, as is Pisces. And the sun is conjuncting Neptune. And Neptune is helping us dissolve things, phase things out of our lives. Uh, the sun is helping us be conscious. It's like a light in the fog. It's still kind of blurry, and we're not really sure... Um, it's just, and those things are just being phased out. They're being lost in the fog. The moon is also trining Uranus in Taurus because Virgo is an earth sign. And this Uranus energy is about change, which helps with that Neptune energy, dissolving that which is no longer needed and Uranus kind of shaking things up, bringing to the surface that which we need to let go of. Now the moon is also going to quincunx the uh, Chiron in Aries. And again, this is going to help us reinforce that healing and taking care of ourselves. There's also another quincunx with the moon with a few planets in Aquarius, and that's going to be Saturn, Mercury, and Jupiter. And here we have Saturn setting the boundaries. Here we have Mercury sending messages to Jupiter about what those boundaries are, just as Jupiter is sending messages of this is how we can expand and where we can expand back to Saturn. So adjustments are being made as Uranus and Neptune are phasing things out. It's allowing new energy, new space for things to evolve. And this brings us a sense of relief and a new normal is being created right now. And it's helping the future to look hopeful and a little more stable because we're learning to adapt in this new energy. And Sunday, the very next day, we have a grand trine with the moon in Virgo, Pluto in Capricorn, which is clearing away permanently that which we cannot go back to, that which we're done with, and Mars in Taurus. So there's a, a surge forward with Mars in Taurus, because Pluto is clearing the way, getting rid of the obstacles, and Virgo, Moon, is helping us find new ways, new space to take care of ourselves. Or maybe come back to um, clearing out uh, that which we don't need. This could be in the way of home improvement, to make our homes more comfortable and cozy, and you cancer rule the home house. So this could be really motivating for you, Cancer, to do some home improvement. All right, let's look at how this energy has been affecting your soul journey so far, Cancer. So, and this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus and rising. And here we have adversity. 
I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And we are living in challenging times, but it's in that adversity that can be inspiring, that can help us see a new way to do things. Okay, and because this full moon is in an earth sign, thought we would check out the earth oracle. Wow, cards are just flying out for you, Cancer. Here we have dawn and desert, a new beginning and a vision quest. So with this adversity, it creates a new beginning. And that new beginning can be part of that vision quest. You go on this vision quest and it guides you to where you need to go or your new path. It opens up your consciousness. It shows you a new way. It gets you in touch with who you are because again, you have to be in tune with yourself to go on a vision quest because a vision quest is about challenging yourself with adversity, seeing where your strengths are. And let's see what animal spirits are going to be here for you. And again, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. Uh, wow, again, the cards are just flying out for you. Okay, we're going to go with the Butterfly Spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So Cancer, you have some changes coming your way. And then next we have Wombat Spirit, be at home. Well, that's what you're all about, Cancer, is being at home because you rule the house that represents hearth and home. Okay, now let's go a little bit deeper into the tarot. For you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. We start with Seven of Chalices. Six of Swords. So there's choices that you'll need to make and uh, you'll be moving away from um, the adversity. I think part of your vision quest and, and this new beginning is to get away from um, the negative adversities, not the challenges that help you become stronger, but I think you just need a break cancer to where you can just have some moment to take care of yourself and renew your energies. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this helps you get back onto task because you do have a lot of tasks. And this can also help you um, come back to your financial productivity. Then we have the Fool new beginnings with those transformations that are going to be occurring. Then we have the Three of Swords. This is Betrayal. This is with the Six of Swords. And to me, this can be leaving a negative relationship and just going into your own space. The Six of Swords can be a card of romance, and you might be wanting to be careful because of how your experiences. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, you want to create your own independence, Cancer. You don't want to rely on other people because you have experienced this betrayal in the past. Because the Six of Swords represents um, getting away from the troubled waters into the calmer waters. 
it can also be a card of romance and a proposal but somewhere you have felt betrayed or you feel like that you're going to be betrayed again and the only way that you feel that you can avoid that cancer is to have your own security and this could also um let's go a little bit deeper here. queen of chalices okay your own sensitivity you need to trust yourself and not your fears it very well could be that the fears are your challenges and it is creating adversity in your life and then we have the emperor and again to me because the emperor is a lot like um this king of pentacles however the emperor is ruled by aries and we do have Chiron and Aries. And I feel that that is what you are trying to heal emotionally. And you just need to get away and come back to who you are. Who you are authentically, your true self. The Page of Wands, which is the adventurer. Um, this could be part of your vision quest and the transformation. And then we have the Empress. Yes, home. And this is with the Wombat being at home. Because the Empress is this very creative nurturing person and the empress energy is going to help you with this transformation and having it being a beautiful transformation because the empress wants to make her home beautiful but right now cancer it seems like that with this adversity you are feeling a lot of self-doubt it could be harming your self-esteem and you just need to get away so that you can be in your own space so that you can decide what your new beginning is going to be and how you're going to envision this transformation. But it is definitely around the home. Now let's see what kind of magic making would be good for you during this full moon in Virgo. And we have Felix Felictitious. <laughs> wow, that is difficult to say. Felix Felictitious. Okay, this is power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Okay. That is very lucky for you. You're going to be creating some serendipitous events. And this is you surrendering to the new beginnings and allowing this transformation to occur. Okay, and let's see what kind of secrets the witch wants to share with you on this full moon in Virgo. Okay, and we have Awaken the Witches. Witches are awakening their power, free at last to rise and share the natural magics. Adore the stars and circle together under the moonlight. The Witches urges you to claim your power, embrace the witchiness within. Okay, Cancer, that's what I was saying to embrace your true authentic self go out into the moonlight open your arms and embrace that full moonlight on the 27th and let it guide you to who you truly are and allow those changes to occur they're going to be beautiful 
transformations. Okay, Cancer, that is all that I have for you for your full moon in Virgo. I wish you well and take care.